Hello, Earth Signs, Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus. Welcome back to Ladybug Testimonies on YouTube. I've already pulled your spread to die down some time so we can all get back to our daily routines. I don't want to keep you long here. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more insight. I will be honored to help. If you would like to join us for Sunday's prayer on testimonies, that's on Facebook. The description box can help you below. If you would like to become a member on Ladybug Testimonies, um, the description box can help you below. I'm going to be starting some new things on there, so hopefully I can see you guys. Um, if you would like to purchase any merch, the description box can help you below as well with that. Um, we are going to be heading straight into prayer to start this reading off. I cannot wait to help. I will be honored to. So if you would like to join me. I'd like to take this time to thank God for our high vibrating spirits, guardians, and angels. Thank God for looking out for us. Thank God for second chances, abundance, and acceptance, insight, and awareness. We'd like to ask for courage, for strength, for healing, for the ability, dear God, to keep going, dear God, for the insight and awareness, and to trust and believe in ourselves. In Jesus' name, love and light. Amen. Namaste. All right, Earth signs, Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus. This video is surrounding around, it's the second part of Aquarius still sitting in Mercury here until we move into Pisces. So the communication is still about these connections here as well and getting as much information as we possibly can. Right, right. All right, Earth signs, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. The overall, it, it, this could be someone around you here as well. At the bottom of the deck, we have Butterfly, Seated Pose. Overall here, Earth signs, um, while Aquarius is still sitting in Mercury, you need to start trusting in the process, going towards where the universe is directing you here as well. Stay positive about your situations. It's time to start being loving here. Stop juggling. Make a decision. What do you want to do? What makes you feel good here as well? Take this time out. This could also be someone around you. They could be taking time out to reflect on how they feel here. They're ready to come out and be their true authentic self here as well. Some of you can have some really beautiful followers that are really in love with you or falling in love with you, Earth signs. Okay. Okay. When I was pulling your, your spray here, I caught a headache. I got sick to my stomach here as well. It was a lot of things going on with me as I was pulling your reading. So my best advice here, off just starting off gate, relax. And just relax, relax, read if this was meant to be. I know that's right. Listen to that beautiful music. Get into that beautiful space here. Or you need to help someone do this as well, okay? But the overall energy here around you, Earth signs, Capricorn, Virgo, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Wild Mercury, Wild Aquarius, still sitting in Mercury here. Things could just be coming out, showing up. You could also be finding this understanding here as well to things that's happening around you. But we have Cat with back bends. The overall energy around you, things could just, you're trying to get things back in order here as well. You're trying to clear up these mistakes here as well because you want to create here as well. Some of you could have found out some information here as well about what you have been creating and you want to put some, you want to put a, a dent in it like Kevin Gates said. <laughs> I'm in love with the love daughter. Anyway, um. You, you're trying to remember why you got here, why you're doing what you're doing, what you want to create here. What was the steps that you had to take here? Yes. Yes. It's all about this connection, this communication, getting things together here as well. Making the right decisions here as well. Creating what you truly want to create. Follow your passion here. You could also be dealing with two different people here as well, but someone is about to make a decision or wanting to go after their sexual desires here as well. There is healing of the, the sacral chakra, so your desires are very present here as well. Some of you want to be taken charge of here as well. You want to speak about the different positions. You want to speak about the things that you want to do here. You're losing sleep over it. You're really worried about coming out and expressing yourself and speaking your truth here as well. Some of you just have some sexual desires that you want to bring to the table okay all right 
other than that, some of you could be making decisions, but you're trying to make the right decisions on what to do with your animals. Here are your cats, your dogs here as well. You want to make the decision to stop fighting against your true sexual desires here as well and speak your truth. This is the overall energy, so this could be a Gemini that's around you as well. The mental conflict is plank, balance, and pose. The mental conflict here is speaking your truth here, actually putting in the work behind what you want to do here as well. This is coming out and just expressing yourself, okay? This could be taking a lot out of you to do here. The mental conflict is how do you put a stamp on it, okay? Yes. How do you put a stamp on it? How do you make these the thoughts come into reality here as well? The mental conflict is always daydreaming. The mental conflict is the time. The mental conflict is communicating here in the right way. It's not, it's not playing games. The mental conflict is like what it is, what it ain't. It is what it is here. But you want to express yourself you want to put the stamp on it here as well but you're just thinking about it the mental conflict is putting the action behind it here as well the mental conflict is also the space and the time that you get to clear your thoughts to speak your truth here as well because on the hard space you have staff with seated pose you feel like you're in love you feel like you have everything in control here as well you don't want to lose control of yourself here. You're trying to stay stable. You're trying to feel good about the situation here as well. You're trying to find that time to relax. You also feel like keeping your thoughts to yourself here as well. You don't want to come out and say the wrong thing here as well. You're trying to trust your intuition on how you feel. You're trying to follow your heart or you feel this way. You can feel like someone is really guided. Someone has everything in the bag. Yes. I mean, you like what you like. You feel the way you feel here. There is some fear around the success here, fear around money. You could feel, you feel like doing what you love here as well. You could also feel like fixing these family situations here as well or fixing the problem. Okay? <laughs> Girl, you got that yummy, yum, that yummy, yum, that yummy, yummy. Hey, girl, you got that yummy, yum. You, could, you feel like focusing on things that you want to eat here. You could also feel good based off the things that you have been eating here as well. If you're not relaxing, you should. If you are, then you're on the right track, big baby. It's, it, it is what it is. You feel good, though. You feel good. Yeah, yeah. Even if, you, even if mentally you want to speak your truth here, you feel good about what you want to say. You feel good about the decisions you want to make here as well. You are most definitely taking this time out to heal, for sure, which is beautiful, especially this, this sacral chakra, this um, throat chakra, and this heart chakra, okay, and your third eye, all right. You could be trying to get a lot of things done at once, or at least two things done at once here as well. You could feel in charge here. You could feel like the boss here. You could feel like things are going in are aligned here as well or you have spiritual help okay what you need to be aware of be aware of warrior two standing pose be aware of being stubborn be aware of this fear stopping you here as well be aware of you not expressing yourself be aware of you keeping or this could be someone around you maybe a fire sign aries leo sagittarius someone is not expressing themselves someone is keeping their the love on their mind someone does have love on the brain here yes could be this fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It also could be this Pisces. Someone could also be really determined to get this proposal or go after love. Okay, yes. Yes. Somebody want to get married. I'm trying to tell you. And this could be a second chance. Somebody could be really determined to have a second chance here. Determined to go after this love here. Determined to be loving and to be open. Someone could also be determined to be a woman or to go after this loving woman here as well. Someone has some surprises, some surprises. They could just show up out of nowhere here as well. They could come and knock at your door with a gift. Yes. Because <laughs> they feel like you the one. You the one, girl. You the one, boy. Okay. Be aware of this pride and this ego. Make sure everybody is on one accord. But I feel like everybody is. 
Capricorn Virgo Taurus. While Aquarius is sitting in um Mercury, yes. You could be um weary of this cancer, this Pisces. Somebody wants a second chance. Somebody also could be nonchalant about a love offer here. They really don't care about it. Even if you did propose or if you didn't propose, this person is real to themselves here. Be aware, be aware of your ego here, Capricorn Virgo Taurus as well. Be open to these different people. Be open to what these people have to offer. Be open to love and change and differences here as well. Be open to going after what you truly want. If you want to be a boss here, Capricorn Virgo Taurus, then you have to be that, baby. And make sure you're going after your passions and be open to having to let certain things go that didn't make you feel good to obtaining things that, that God has for you, that spirit has for you. Be open to this love offer and make sure you're speaking your truth here, okay? Be aware of this fear. Be aware of not fixing your family situations, not opening up and expressing yourself. Be aware of family coming back to ask for a second chance here as well. Could be your mothers, your brothers, two brothers. A woman could be really nonchalant. This Pisces is cancer here. Somebody could also be ignoring their intuition here as well. There's a lot, a lot of fear, okay? Fear around how someone feels. Fear around a love offer here as well. Be aware of this victory and success. Things could possibly work out, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, okay? But be aware of this cancer, this Pisces, and this Sagittarius. And this offer coming back around. And someone being really nonchalant about it and not expressing themselves. This could also be you. Because things could be suddenly turned into a burden. Be aware of that. The most, okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, somebody could possibly not even want something to end when it's time. Like when time is up, somebody could want to fight that and want more time and want to fight against it. Okay. Okay. Somebody could really have such a good time while they're out. And somebody doesn't drink like that either. Okay, so be weary of that. Somebody does not drink like that. But yeah, if I see like when time is up, somebody doesn't want to leave. Okay. Alrighty. And someone's about to be single pretty soon, so be aware of that. But it's something that they want to do. They they didn't really want to be in a relationship anyway. Okay. Yeah, somebody could be walking away from a situation and this is what they want to do. They're just waiting on the right time, the right opportunity to do this. Somebody has a message. Be aware of this. Oh, most likely outcome here for you, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Horizon, while Aquarius is still sitting in Mercury here. It's the plan, spinal twist, resting pose. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Horizon, you have to get some rest here. All right. It's, it's good to go with being and trust your intuition here because your spiritual ancestors are singing, sending in some guidance on how to heal on how to express yourself, on your true desires here as well. There could be some spiritual connection here as well. Um, Some astral traveling. Yes. Could be most definitely a spiritual connection, a spiritual friendship, a spiritual decision being made here as well. Because there's a lot of communication, but it could just be all spiritual. But it's very loving. A lot of you could be coming into a relationship or a very different kind of situation it could be a lot of oppositions with this relationship or this connection here as well you could be dealing with a libra you could be dealing with two different people when you want to if someone wants to open up and express that this is what they truly want this is what they want to spend their money in on but there is some communication coming in about a relationship about a partnership about a friendship here as well somebody could feel backed up clogged up very afraid here as well of breaking bonds, of doing the wrong thing, of being caught here, of losing money here as well. Somebody's trying to make the right decisions here at the end of the day here, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Horizon. They want to be rich and successful here. They want to be humble. They want to speak their truth here, but they're still secrets. Someone can also feel like someone cannot take the truth or handle the truth here as well. So someone decides to juggle, all right, and keep what their true passions to themselves. 
And like I said, it's strong Libra energy here. Bottom of the deck is communication. Someone could be very, very afraid of expressing themselves and being honest and true and authentic here. So they do it spiritually. There is a spiritual connection. There could be a spiritual connection to two different people. Yes, I have already angels, guardians, and spirits. Let's see. Warning here for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising. But somebody overall is making a decision to do the right thing here. They want to get out of these third-party situations. They want to be guided here because there could be some misguidance here as well. Someone doesn't know what they want to do. They could be back and forth with things here as well. They want to call, but then they don't. They want to reach out, but then they don't. They want to trust their intuition, but they don't. Someone isn't happy at all, but they choose to stay in a situation. You have ants. Bottom of the deck here is... Somebody is most definitely taking a chance at things, okay? It could be a water sign. Someone is really, really emotional here as well. Someone could be going through a thunderstorm or a tower moment where God is revealing everything to this person. This person is finally realizing or finally waking up to what is going on in their lives here. But you have rope with ants, and it's also the number numerology number one. So trust your intuition. Trust in what your dreams and your heart is telling you, okay? Don't ignore intuition. Be open to guidance, okay? If you want to create something here, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Horizon, the universe will help you do so. Trust me, all right? They are strong creatures for their small size. When they are many, they ca they'll cause your dis 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 demise, demise, okay? Some of you uh, could have um, an ant infestation here or a lot of people in your business, a lot of people going through your things here as well, a lot of people working around you here. There could be a there could be teamwork that needs to be had. If there is already teamwork, you need to start to separate yourself from all these people so you can make your own decisions and you can be open to your own thoughts. A lot of the greatest... Um, Things that were created, a lot of inspiration, is it came from being alone here, okay? You could also be holding on to things that you know you need to let go of. It's causing you stress. Go and get help and advice from people that you know that will help you, that are on your side here as well. Other than that, you need to start tidying up and look out for this ant gestation. Or a lot of people are on their way asking for help and assistance. At the bottom of the deck here, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Horizon, we have tree. So, yeah, be weary of where you're sitting at outside. Some of you could possibly step in an ant pile, and it could be located by a tree. Other than that, you need to start getting people to help you start to build this foundation. The time is now, okay? Balance and pose is at the bottom of the deck. The time is now. Speak your truth. Be open and most definitely watch where you're step stepping. But trust your intuition, love, on this relationship, on this friendship, towards this Libra here as well. The things that you want to say, your dreams here as well, because there is a decision that needs to be had here. Okay? I do see a karmic situation here as well, or a soulmate situation. But there's a lot of desire. You need to heal this solar, this sacral chakra. Okay? And speak from your heart and most definitely speak your truth. So heal this. Heal this um, heart chakra. This is not a chakra video. Okay. That will be coming next. But you have star family. You're a part of a team of souls. Call and support. Most definitely. If you need help, call for that. For sure. Your ancestors, your guides, the universe are always there to help. You just need to be open to it. For sure. For sure. Bottom of the deck, the seven star sisters. If you need assistance on creating, then go in to manifest, okay? Prayer is asking med manifestation. Meditation is listening and obeying, okay? I send you love and light always. If you would like to skip to the end of the video, I am giving some spiritual insight out of the Starseed Oracle. If not, I send you love and light always. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Horizon. Have a beautiful day or night. Alrighty, Virgo, the most likely outcome for you here while Aquarius is in Mercury is Cobra, back then. 
Someone could be really, really striking here, waiting for the right opportunity to go after what they desire or to speak their truth about how they feel here as well. Someone is waiting for the right opportunity here, Virgo, someone arising to come out with the success here as well. They're just waiting. Some people here are exercising, taking this time out to work out their upper body or someone that have upper body strength here as well, gaining that strength to come out and express themselves. Somebody is really colorful or could be dibbling and dabbling in some magic. They could speak things into existence here as well. Yes, yeah, somebody could work outside in the sun here as well and they're ready to either go back to something that they love here or they're ready to spend this money that they have obtained here as well there is protection here if, if someone if you feel like or if you found out someone has been casting spells there's protection here so there's no need to worry if you are the one that's casting spells here virgo sun moon and rising then this person is protected all right as well be weary of the time and the space that you're spending or that you're in, in the people that you're in here as well. Um, some of you need to start working on saving up some finance so you can get a better, get better bra support here as well. A company could be opening up or shutting down. So be wary of that. It's time to feel better. It's time to start building, getting that finances back up as well. It's time to put in the work here. Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Yes. Stop fighting the second chance, okay? And someone could be getting fired here, Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising, but somebody is fighting back, doing what's right, fighting back, speaking the truth here. They would rather sit and sulk in this misery than to get up and speak their truth, which is which is terrible. If you're dealing with a death here as well, somebody could have been struck by a snake while at work here as well, so be careful. And when you call out for help, people may be too busy or the machines may be too loud for people to come back and help you. And this could call, this could be really, really sad. Somebody could die due, due to this. You could be dealing with somebody that's in charge here. At the bottom of the deck here, we have three-legged dog, balance and pose. Yes. Be careful at work here, please. Speak your truth here as well. If you don't feel, if, you're, if your intuition is telling you that this site here is too dangerous, speak that in, speak protection over your life. Protect yourself. Wear the right gear here. Don't go to work with the wrong gear. If you do, then you need to go back home and get it. Remember, everything happens for a reason. So be prepared. Don't go anywhere unprepared, okay? Other than that, someone could be getting fired from work and they could be fighting against it here as well. Someone could also be speaking this into existence, so watch what you're saying. Somebody could also be worried about getting stabbed or dealing with knives here as well. Somebody could be going into working with knives here as well. Then we have spider. Oh, Jesus, yes. You could be creating your own havoc, your own stress here as well. The, what you, the, my best advice is speak your truth. Heal these experiences. Heal, heal the time that you're around people. The numerology you have is the number five. There's change coming in. Someone needs to change how they're speaking if they want this second chance because God is showing up here as well. All right. A hunter from the darkest wild makes you feel just like a child. Don't be immature. Make sure you're going to work with the right gear. Make sure you're going into speaking with prayer and protection here as well. There is family investments here as well. Somebody could also be fighting. Be having family issues. There is court here. Somebody could be really worried about the truth coming out here as well. Someone is heartbroken. But the advice you have is the cosmetic heart, devotion, potency, make your life a move in prayer. Go into everything with prayer here, Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Please, star bathing. Go into everything with this protection. Make sure you're calling on your angels and spirits and gods. If someone has passed away, if you could feel this here, Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising, send them love. Reach out, communicate if you can. I mean, if someone has passed here, then just, you know, light a white candle to set their souls free here as well. If you feel disturbed, if you feel worried here, bottom of the deck is the star ancestors. Yes. 
You have spirit and guardians and angels around you to help you out of these toxic situations, away from this confusion, and you do have protection around you. You need to call on to your ancestors here as well. Some of your fathers here could be passing or past, or you could lose this boss position, okay? Because you weren't prepared, because you're, you were speaking too fast. I see you love and light always here, Virgo Sun Moon Horizon. If you'd like to skip to the end of the video, I'm giving some star seed oracle insight. If not, have a beautiful day or night. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Alrighty, the most likely outcome here for you, Taurus, is bridge, back bend. Towards it looks like you are most definitely working on what you want to create. You're coming from a loving place or you're trying to. You could be trying to fix the, the family issues here as well. Trying to make the right decisions. Trying to tell the truth about what really happened here as well. You could feel like your back is up against the wall here. You could feel alone. You could feel like you're doing this alone. Yes. You could feel like you're creating along here as well. But you're trying to create a new environment, new space. Trying to get in control of your life and the situations, the people and places that surround you here as well. You're trying to create. You could be dealing with the, um, a Gemini, a Virgo, or Cancer, Sagittarius. Be wary of the Sagittarius here as well. The bottom of the deck here is frog, seated position. You want to take these leaps of faith. You want to go after what makes you feel happy. You're trying to trust your intuition. It could also be someone around you. Someone is trying to get in control of their lives here as well. They don't want anybody to try to direct them. They would rather go to God, which is beautiful. This could also be you here, Taurus, as well. You're trying to create. You're trying to do the right thing. So you're trying to understand and understand spirituality, what you want to create here. But most definitely, your focus is fixing the bridges you have burned here, apologizing, trying to understand this journey for what it is. My best advice is relax, come out of this fear, and focus on your passion. Someone is trying to express themselves, trying to put that work behind that faith here. Let's get you some insight. Okay, God, I have been in just by some spirits. Someone is coming here. It could be this cancer. Be aware of that. Someone could be bringing you a lot of emotions here as well. Someone wants to express themselves. Someone wants to show you what they have done and what they have gotten through. The obstacles and challenges that have, they have overcome here as well. There could be some sticky situations. But somebody is finally pulling through. Dear God, I have already made this guy some spirits. We have raft, okay, yeah, with the numerology five. So there is change coming in. Every month at the quarter moon, there is a moon sign in your lagoon. Be weary of the floods. Be weary of how you feel. Be weary of expressing yourself. Be weary some, someone could possibly have to move due to a flood here as well. Yes. There could be some... Shocking information to come in here as well. Someone could also be sending out a lot of love, trying to balance out this life, trying to follow and do what's right here as well. But there is a weather change that you need to be weary of and all these emotions. This cancer here as well. Someone has a lot to say. Other than that, someone is moving due to a flood. Someone has to, but someone spoke this change into existence. Someone asked for this change here as well, and everything is finally aligned, so everything can finally come into fruition. Dear God, what is this spiritual insight? For Taurus, someone arising while Mercury is sitting in the Aquarius. You could feel rushed here as well. We have inner earth. You'll survive this. New solutions and beginnings. It's time to start looking on the brighter side of life. It's time to start feeling better here as well. Go with the flow here towards someone arising. No matter what happens. Yeah, there could be a disaster that's coming in. Either a flood or a fire. But it's going to cause movement and change. Be open to it. Bottom of the deck. Breath of the cosmos. Yes. The universe brought in this change. The universe is bringing in this change. Be open to it. Stay positive. Remember the things that you are saying can be manifested. So stay positive. Speak positive into existence. You do not forget to heal. 
I send you love and light always towards sun, moon, and rising. If you'd like to book appointments, the description box can help you below. If not, have a beautiful day or night. I'm getting spiritual insight out of the Star Sea Oracle if you'd like to stick around for that. If not, toodaloo. The spiritual insight starts now. We have the golden children. To give it every chance to grow in rich adulthood, to encourage it, to water it, to see the world through the innocence of a child, to see yourself and all others as, others as innocent children, to remember that deep down everyone is trying their best, and if they're treated with a tender heart, they'll not harden as their journey as they journey through this great adventure called life. The Star Sea Soil Inquiry Earth Signs Capricorn Virgo Taurus is how can you treat yourself or others more tenderly? I send you love and light always. Have a beautiful day or night.